Good morning, Guardians. The Hijabi gave me her. It's been a rough morning trying to get my capture card to work. I don't know. It was just in a temperamental mood. Just did not want to work. I managed to get the bosses for the challenge of the elders, but I did beat it because I have to get to work. I'm already kind of falling behind. But for this week, so I got to rush this. Um, for this week, for Crucible, we have Mayhem Rumble, which is uh, free-for-all, crazy chaos. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, will, how will you handle a battle like this? Battle like this, I wonder. I guess now, given the Witch Queen, um, we'll be facing stuff that um, can use the light against us. So, yeah, but Mayhem Rumble, Treasure Under Ages, Legendary Marks, plus Ted, sweet. Then, for weekly story playlist, you got the Iron Lord. So, everything from Rise of Iron, which is awesome because Rise of Iron is my favorite DLC of all time. Um, I guess I, I don't know what other people think. What's your favorite DLC? Let me know down in the comments below. Which is your favorite expansion for Destiny or Destiny 2? I'll admit, Rise of Iron was my favorite by far. Bias, because I was really looking forward to it. It was my first DLC in Destiny. It was when I started Destiny, Taking King and all that was already out. So when I heard about Rise of Iron, it was like, I started playing Destiny about three weeks before Rise of Iron came out. It was like, there's already a new DLC? This is awesome. So I'm biased. I love Rise of Iron. So Iron Lords, so anything out of Rise of Iron story missions. You got uh, Heroic as always, more enemies, Void Bird, and Small Arms. So if you got those weapons that have the primary primary, the adept weapons that are exotic, they give you void damage in your primary slot, those will melt stuff. Not that that really is necessary. Heroic story playlists aren't that difficult. I love playing Heroic story play missions. I wish they brought them back to Destiny 2. And, but this is also the best way to, again, farm legendary marks. Because you can do them up to five times. You can get a minimum of 20 legendary marks each time, which is awesome. So you get up to a minimum of 100 legendary marks a week. Just make sure you're not at 200 or you're going to lose those. Cool. 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 All right. There you got Steve Crisis Heroic Strikes. Um, you got Heroic as always. You got Solar Bird. You got... Small arms, so primary arms are favorite, which means if you got something like Abyss Defiant, this is going to be awesome for Siva Crisis for uh, Siva Crisis Heroic Strikes, because uh, primary damage is favorite. Solar Burn, you're going to melt stuff. It's going to be awesome. Then you got Ironclad. More enemies have shields, so maybe I'll get my way to Destiny One because honestly, I'm kind of with Destiny Two right now. Destiny One just shows you how much better Destiny Two could be. Um, then you got Weekly Nightfall. It's the Death's Palace. So, first off, the modifiers. Epic, so even more enemies. They're highly aggressive. They're pissed off at you. They're epically mad at you. So they're not just heroically mad at you. They're epically mad at you. Then we got Berserk, Benedians of the Darkness, Wolf Lynch, which means those t those uh, cabal with the, the, the just, they won't, it's, it's just, yeah. Then you got Small Arms, which I like Small Arms because I like primary arm weapons. They're my favorite, so yeah. Then we got chaff, so no radar, no big deal. And the match game, which is perfectly suited, she says sarcastically, given which nightfall, which strike the nightfall is. It is the Dust Palace, which is this one. It's the one with the flares. If you look at my guardian right now, he's wearing one of the co cloaks from the flares. Did I solo this? Yes, I did. It was not easy. It was really not easy. Because those flares are a pain in the rear to deal with. You got Cabal everywhere. And you got three flares that just... Their, their shields are like, yeah. Pain in the butt. But you get this. Which is very sweet. I have all three of them. Though I don't have all three of them on me. I have them in my vault. But I got another one right over here. This is the Arx one. Oh, this is the Void one, sorry. It looks like the Arc one when you look over here. But it is the Void Flare, see? Void Flare Mantle. This is the Solar Flare Mantle. Not easy, but why not? Especially with sol solar arms, small arms. Anyway, then we got Challenge of the Elders. Challenge of the Elders, you have Airborne, which means... Um, players deal more damage while in the air. You got... Super kill bonus, which if you're a hunter, kind of sucks unless like you do void, I guess, or uh, blade dancer. Um, and you got grounded. 
players more take wait a minute so players take more damage while in the air but they deal more damage while in the air oh that's good that's fun so the bosses are nor uh psylocke the defiled so taken hive piece of cake the second is pilot servitor of a war wrecked falling catch aka fallen not taken fallen just fallen piece of cake and finally noruisk servant of oryx pain in the butt not easy um Though, I've noticed Destiny is uh, feels easier when you play Warframe. If you play a lot of Warframe, then you go to Destiny, the mechanic, the gameplay itself is easier. You have to be faster in Warframe and just eliminate enemies faster in Warframe than in Destiny 2. So when you start playing Destiny 2, unless it's Noruisk, the game seems slow. I'm late. Damn it, I'm late. So, Challenge of the Elders, yeah. Zen, finally. Oh, Challenge of the Elders. We have the weekly featured raid, which is Atheon Challenge, Vault of Glass, original, Destiny 1, Vault of Glass. You know, doing the Challenge of the Elders right now, it just made me realize just how much I hate the champions in Destiny 2. They 100% feel like a cheap gimmick. It makes me realize that you don't need champions for a game to be challenging and fun and just... You can put Challenge of the game without the, those cha the, the old the thing that just keeps me from doing a lot of the stuff that I would solo in Destiny. In Destiny 2, because I really, really hate the champions. To me, they are a cheap gimmick. They're a pain in the butt to deal with. They're, they, if you don't get them like in the first go, sh they, their health comes back rapidly. I remember doing this one guy, and it's just, I hated the champions, and I know some people like them. I hate them. And I think one of the biggest discouragements for me from soloing stuff that I would normally have soloed is the champions. And I, I just, I wish they would be more creative in their gameplay mechanics, more creative in making the game more interesting without this cheap gimmick. I mean, I, I've seen Bungie do it in the past where they put in cheap gimmicks to make it difficult to solo something. And now this is just a cheap gimmick to try and edge up the difficulty with this stupid cheap gimmick by saying, hey, we got this unkillable boss. I mean, Bungie's already got a reputation for um, spongy enemies. Anyway, I'm going on a rant, and I got to get to work, but that's that's just... Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the tower.